If you know what all these things have in common, then you have probably been smoking pot for a while. Those that don't know what we're about to do here, we're gonna make it a device that you could filter your cannabis smoke through to make it stink less. Got a tube here. This is from a paper towel roll. Rubber band, dryer sheets, and a pipe full of the giggle bush. So this is a very straightforward thing. And depending on what part of the country you live in, you probably call it a number of different things. My uncle, who in fact did do prison time, was the one that taught me this and he called it a prison tube. I don't ultimately know how I feel about that, but it is in fact something that they did in prison, he said, to cover up the smell of smoking the weed. So if you've heard it called that, that's one of the names. Much more common name for it I found over the years is sploof, but I've also heard it called a smoke muncher, but whatever you call it, this is basically how you make it. You're gonna take one dryer sheet, something that has a pleasant scent that you would like your room to smell like. You're gonna take the dryer sheet and just put it over the end, kind of as uniform a fashion as possible, and you're just gonna rubber band it into place. Believe it or not, that's it. That's the sploof. You take a hit from the pipe and breathe it in this end, and as it goes through the tube, it's gonna filter through this dryer sheet, come out smell and much better on the other end. In this case, blissful dreams. Before I give a demonstration, I'll talk about just these in general and specifically the tube that you use. Now I know a lot of people out there use toilet paper roll tubes. I'm not gonna tell people what to do with their life, but you do realize what toilet paper is used for, right? So someone's going, they're grabbing some toilet paper from the roll, they're using it, they're grabbing more, they're using it, they're grabbing more, they're using it. You see where I'm going with this, right? Only after the act has been committed are the hands washed leaving a pretty disgusting toilet paper tube behind. A lot of people then are gonna smoke pot, put this up against their face. Not me, said the Johnny Green. So what I like to do is take a paper towel roll, whip out the scissors, you just cut it in half. Then you have one about this size, which may seem arbitrary to some people, but actually serves a purpose. When this tube's much longer and you're blowing through it, you've got a lot more space, a lot more lung work you gotta put out in order to get the smoke from the end of it all the way to here. Depends on what types of lungs you're working with, of course. Some people that might not be a problem, but when you have a little stumpier one like this, you blow the smoke through it, you can really push it through here, get a good filter on it. And with no further ado, let's take a rip. comes out smelling like blissful dreams. Now there's two distinct limitations to the sploof, smoke munch, or whatever you want to call it. Number one, you saw the smoke still come out of here, and yeah, it smells all blissful dreams fresh, but your room's still full of smoke. And if someone comes into the room and it's foggier than a Scooby-Doo cartoon, even if it smells like a dryer sheet, it's gonna be a little suspicious. Meanwhile, and you can kind of see this effect a little bit, the smoke's dissipated, but only the smoke that goes through this is going to have its odor altered. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, if this bowl's still stanking it up, it's putting smoke out in the air, or heaven forbid you're smoking a doob or a blunt, you gotta realize this is only gonna do so much good. If you're looking for a quick way to alter the cannabis smell, for whatever reason, I'm not gonna get into your business, it's your business. But if this information is useful for you, very cheap and easy to make. These tubes tend to just create themselves if you're around paper towels or if it's like the holiday season, wrapping paper has some pretty rigid ones in here. You can make a pretty beefy sploof out of that type of stuff. And then of course, unless you're using the dryer sheets, and this is like a lifetime supply of dryer sheets practically. Rubber bands are easy to come across. One thing I'd like folks to do that are watching this video, put what you call this down in the comments section particularly if it's not a splue for smoke muncher. Just always curious what lingo is working its way out there for something like this. Anyhow, till the next time, catch you later on the Higher Things Club.